Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Raghav here with us who has been recently placed at Reliance Industries as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So he's a chemical engineer and this was a core placement. So that's pretty interesting to understand his experience. So before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria. All BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a CGP of 8 or 80% in 10th, 12th as well as in the Persian degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Raghav and get to know his experience with Reliance. Hi Raghav, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, uh, first of all I would like to thank you for inviting me on a YouTube channel. Uh, so I will give you a brief introduction about myself. So I am Raghav Saxena and uh, I am from Udaipur, Rajasthan. I did my B.Tech in the chem in chemical engineering from VIT Valor. And during the placement process uh, that took place last year, I got a full-time opportunity at Lens Industries Limited. Uh, so talking a little about uh, my hobbies, I love to play basketball, football, and I also love to uh, trade in stock markets and also learn about uh, financial, financial institutions and uh, economics. So yeah, that's something about myself. Okay, that's really great. Yeah. Um, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay, sure. So uh, the Reliance Industries came in the month of November actually. So it was a big surprise for all of us, like because uh, for the last two years, Reliance was not coming into our campus okay. uh, for a variety of reasons. We can say for because of COVID and all. But when it came, we all were happy because it is a dream company for all of for most of us, like from the chemical department, from mechanical department. Okay, so it came in the month of November. Uh, then it comprised of three rounds. Like first first round was the written round, okay. second round, and then uh, followed up by the interview process. Okay. Hmm. So when first the shortlisting came, like who were the candidates that were shortlisted for the written round? Uh, it it the shortlisting may be based on CGP and all. Then the shortlisted candidates were uh, appeared for the uh, written test. Okay. The written test had around uh, four sections according to me. Yeah, four sections were there: the reasoning ability, quants, and uh, uh, verbal ability. Followed up by four sections that is domain based. Like for me, it was chemical engineering questions. Like for other department, maybe CSE, maybe CSE domain and mechanical domain, respectively. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, then the shortlisting came after two days of uh, two days after the written exam, right? Okay. So then on, uh, yeah, then there were in the interview there were two rounds actually. First one was the technical round and then the HR round. Okay. Then, so the technical round it was uh, uh, there were about two people in my panel who took my interview. Okay. So technical round was completely based on the chemical domain. Like they asked uh, questions from chemical engineering. Um, purely basic stuff they were asking like and fr but from the main subjects like mass transfer, heat transfer and all the main subjects that we have in our chemical engineering. So, and they also asked about my projects, variety of projects like in that I did uh, in a four year tenure and they also asked me about the final year project that I'm that I was currently working on during that time. Okay. Mm. Then yeah, then after I cleared that exam, uh, after after I cleared that technical round, hmm. then uh, HR round came and HR round was uh, very easy. Like there was only one person that was taking the interview and the interview lasted for about 10 minutes. But the technical interview that lasted for around 30 minutes or odd. Okay. Then the shortlisting came after uh, two days after the interview and then uh, yeah, we were selected. Yeah. So around uh, around around 15 to 20 people were selected uh, from our campus and were, and from my stream like from the uh, chemical engineering department around the seven people were selected. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's really great. Congratulations again. And uh, do you have any suggestions for people, especially in chemical engineering, who are trying to get into good companies? Yeah, sure. Because see, see the. People in the chemical department and all the core branches, let's say instrumentation, uh, mechanical engineering, civil, chemical, the companies 
that come for recruitment for these branches they come uh, in the later half of the placement process so let's say the the placement process in at vit it started in the month of august okay so but the companies that were coming in the month of august september october they were mostly yes uh, for the csc people electronics people like for example amazon microsoft and oracle or all the other companies so we were not getting those many opportunities that other people were getting so uh, so what happens during that uh, placement process when you see your uh, friends and you see your colleagues uh, getting placements and that to a very good package you get demotivated and it's a natural human instinct right so my suggestion would be to stay patient and believe in yourself and just keep working hard because at the end of the day you are going to get placed if you are in a decent college like uh, like vit and uh, other private institutions i am saying about i am not talking about the iits or nits i am talking about the private institutions and if you are in a in, if you are in a decent college you are definitely going to get placed if you have a good cgpa good technical skills and all so yeah so so uh, taking an example of me i got placed in the month of november i know it's a, it's a long time like the placement started in the month of august and i got placed in the month of november so it was a long time before i got placed it was it 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 is a hard time before you get your placement but uh, it is totally worth it so my suggestion would be to be patient work hard be consistent and believe in god that's it okay okay that's really great thank you so much again for your suggestion and for sharing your experience and yeah thank you thank you so much ishnu for inviting me on your youtube channel